Ah, the BMW X3. Uh, hello, hello. It's Tuesday, 2-11. Um, just got today done. And I don't know if it's been raining or snowing. We'll have to see the temperature in a minute. But we've got all of this, so we'll see what that temperature is. It is 35, so kind of a mix between rain and snow. That's better. Well, I got my oil today. About five days ago, uh, the little thing came on in the car on the check display. It says check engine oil level. Uh, I usually put a quart in every thousand miles, which is normal since new. Um, and it's been about 1,200 miles, and I guess now it wants some, and it's been another week since then, and it's kind of been a heavier week of driving, going back and forth to BMW, and then we did the Yacht Club last week. Um, so I'm going to guess it'll take a quart and a half-ish quart and a quarter. So I'm going to come out and put that in now, see how much it takes. Also, I haven't started any of this aside from the snowblower in uh, months now. I think it was maybe November since I started this stuff last. So I'm going to start the blower and maybe some of this later today. Maybe not. I don't know. Um, I usually, I like to start it every two to, th two to four weeks once or twice a month just to keep it going. If I let it sit all winter, then it's a pain in the ass to start and it runs like crap for a while. So maybe I'll pull that out. It's kind of snowing a little bit and you can see where I slid in the driveway here. Actually, it's kind of easier. If I come in and then let the clutch out, give it some gas and first gear on the uh, on the snow here, it just slides around and it makes it easier to pull in. Check out that park job of this Chevy here. Wow, there's Taylor and his brother leaving. I don't even think he sees me over here, but I'm over here to pick up my sister. My mom is with um, my grandmother. They're working with an accountant today until three or four, so she couldn't do it. Anyways, I'm over here. I got my oil. Uh, I put a quart and a half in, got the blower started, blew off part of the driveway, started. It was it was cold. I could tell it was definitely a month since it's been run, um, and it stalled out on me, so I'm going to go home and let that run for a little bit. Taylor looks very pissed off. This traffic's just dicked around here. Oh, there's the guy with the uh, pickup. Very unique, bud. Uh, we got a black E60 behind me. That's a pretty nice high school car. All right, now it's 3.32. I got out of there, got her home. Um, it's Valentine's Day, so I'm out to buy the ladies in my life some shit. And you know that's going to cost a couple mil, so I'm going to go get that done. Probably just going to go over to Heinen's. Um, there's a crow. Hey, you know, I noticed uh, when I was outside earlier today, well, an hour ago, doing oil and the blower and stuff, I heard birds, and it made me, it feels like spring. You know, we were up in the 50s, we had a couple days in the 60s, um, and there's birds out. So, I guess that's a good sign for mid-February. Over here at Heinen's and, and, ah, oh, the BMW C-Series! Okay, so I'm um, over here, I'm gonna go in and get some flowers or chocolate or something, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out when I get in there. And there are more BMWs in this parking lot right now than I think anything. We got an M5 here, there's a 3, I think 30, pretty new one. There's a red 1 series over there. I saw a new uh, F10 535, and then back there is, uh, I think it's an older first generation X5, and there's a nice, uh, actually really nice, Honda Civic um, Si in red, that looks pretty nice, stay to zoo, uh, I'm sure you appreciate that. There's another one, oh god, and there's an E46 uh, convertible, and a really nice light blue. Real quick before I go in, on the way over here, the road that I take is 35 miles an hour. I go about 38, try not to take it up to 40. Um, the school zone, obviously there's a school right there on that road. It's the high school. Trust me, I've been there plenty. Too much, actually. Um, there's a school zone, you know, it goes down to 20 miles an hour. School gets out at 3, so it's like 3 to 3.15. Current time right now is 3.49. Um, the lights went off, you know, the little flashing yellow lights that tell you to go 20 miles an hour. Those lights went off at 3.15. I know that because I drive through there, I take people home from school, and then I go downtown, and usually it's like 3.17 and they're off. So I get behind this guy in, I think it was a Nissan, it was a pretty nice car, and we're doing about 18 to 20 miles an hour, and for a while I'm just like, oh, he must not see the sign. Another sign goes by and the lights aren't on, so you know, I kind of go out and look around him, and he sees that I'm like, what the hell, why are you going this slow? And so he slams on his brakes, he brake checks me, obviously with my four-wheel discs, that's no problem. Um, so then we get over here to the light, then it went to 25, so I obviously backed off and went down to 27 and he's, he's doing like 35 still. He, thir 35 and a 25 and 18 and a, tw and a 35. That makes no sense. So we get over here. I'm going to make a right to come into town here. He's going to go straight to go 
north on 91 through town. And he puts his window down. I can see that he's like giving me the finger. He's totally flipping out. This guy's 50, 55 years old. He's well dressed. He's got his wife in the car. She looks horrified. Uh, so I put my window down and, you know, as chill as can be, dude, it's not a school zone. It goes off after 315 and he is just cussing me out. He says, there's kids. It's a school zone. There's a school there. There's nobody there. There's no traffic at the school and there's no one walking on the street. Trust me, if there's people walking on the street, there's kids, there's bikes, I'm slowing down too. I don't want to hurt them. I don't want to hurt the car. So to that guy, learn how to drive, please. I hate bad drivers. Yeah, so needless to say, plenty of expletives, but whatever. His deal. All right, so that was easy. Got a couple things in there. Um, headed back now. It's 36 degrees, which is, I guess, comfortably above freezing. Yet it is still somewhat sleeting. I guess you might say it is sleet. Um, but that guy was loading up his 328 on the way out, and he looked like a very, very, very unhappy person. Kind of like an E-class driver. So I didn't say anything. Now, if it were an M3, I always talk to M drivers, you know. And I guess 2003 Oxford Green 525 drivers. Now this is a good place to slow down. There's kids, there's buses, there's tons of traffic, there's crossing guards. This is where you slow down, guys. And look at that, we just missed the sign on camera, but it says end school zone. There's no buses, there's light traffic, and there's no crossing guards or kids. So guess what? Back up to 38. It's 3.54 now, and look, the lights are still off. So I just got a, a tech video recorded about the iPad 3. So that's gonna be up today, and now as requested, I'm gonna show you my watch collection. I keep them here on my dresser in this box that I got from Amazon. It's just a nice way to keep them uh, organized and safe. It's glass on top. It's got a little key, but trust me, you can pick it with a paper clip. But um, I haven't really added anything since the Rolex Yachtmaster 2, since uh, I got that, I wanna say May or April or sometime earlier this spring, oh, 2011. So I've had that for a while. You know that it's the uh, the Daytona band, and I spent a long time a long time looking for this because I wanted to find the two tone one. I don't like the one that's all gold or the one that's all silver, whatever they call that finish. Uh, I like the two tone one, so that's what I got. The, this one over here, you can tell both of these are stopped. They're automatic. I haven't worn them for a while. This one is the uh, Rolex Deep Sea Sea Dweller. It's the thinner one. Notice I, I didn't get the huge one because it's too big and heavy. I've had that for about a year and a half. I absolutely love it. It's a great movement. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice watch. Then there's the Breitling B01. That's wound. It's ticking. Um, so that's... I've had that. I actually got that at the same time I got this. That's a great watch. I don't wear it as often, but it's super bulletproof, and it's got a really nice leather band on it. This is the Panerai. I wear that all the time. Uh, unfortunately, it is not wound right now, but it's a Panerai Luminor GMT. There's 2,000 of those. It's got a clear case back on it. It's just an absolutely stunning movement here. Really nice sapphire crystal. Everything here on the top row that I've got is sapphire crystal. Uh, down on the bottom row, they're not... Um, as prestigious, I, you might say. This is a Voller. It's, uh, I guess, a German watch. It's wound. I wore it the other day. It's an automatic movement. Uh, I talked about this in the vlogs before. It is also a, uh, a clear case back, and if we put it up to the light, you can see you can see right through it. It's a skeleton case. Um, not uber expensive, but it's a really nice uh, watch. Unfortunately, it's hard to read because of the black hands, but it looks cool anyways. This is the BMW uh, Quattro Chronograph here. It's got the year the uh, month, day, date, uh, that's a 24-hour hand. There's the date, half seconds, counter seconds, hours, and minutes. It's got everything. It's also a clear case back automatic. This is my first good watch here. Um, this is a Wenger Commando that I've had for several years. I uh, got a good deal on it. Swiss quartz movement. Um, I wear that relatively often, and it's one of my favorites. This is from my grandfather, the one that passed last February. Um, it is a Wenger, I used to know the name, Aerograph or something like that, but it's pretty cool. And then this is a Bolova from my grandfather I see on weekends. It's a tuning fork movement, so it's a super uh, smooth sweeping seconds hand. Unfortunately, it does not work as it's supposed to. It stops every day at 3.15, and I haven't worn it since whatever Saturday the 10th was a couple months ago. Uh, so that's the collection I'm working with right now. I'm always um, shopping online to see if I can find good deals. When I find something I want to buy, I shop it for months until I find the right deal. Uh, I don't like overpaying for things. So it uh, pays to be a smart shopper. While we're talking about jewelry, you guys saw the ring. I got the tungsten carbide with carbon fiber inlay. I have that. And then this um, stainless steel bracelet with uh, a leather inlay from uh, Zales. 
So I wear those uh, mostly with this and the Panerai because they look better. I have probably 10 other watches that are just real cheap pieces of crap that I bought at Walmart in you know, fifth grade and middle school and stuff like that that I just wore until they broke. I still have them somewhere. But this is one I wear in the summer. I wear it to the pool all the time. It's a Casio diving watch. It's got screw down crowns and tachometer on it. It's also an alarm function. Not real expensive, but it's a great watch to wear around the pool and working in the summer. This one I bought, so unfortunately I really never wear it because I have those. It's a fossil, um, what do they call it? It's a fossil twist. It is an automatic movement, but if you should stop wearing it for a while, it actually powers off a battery too. So if you didn't wear it for a week, it keeps going on the battery. But you notice if I shake it up, the balance wheel uh, slowly starts to turn there. And of course, the more you wear it and shake it up, the faster it goes, and then it doesn't use the battery to power the watch, it just runs off the automatic movement. So that's the collection as it stands. You can imagine it's kind of difficult to make a decision in the morning which one I'm going to wear throughout the day. Uh, it's also a pain having so many automatic watches. Um, you let them sit for two, three, four days, depending on the movement it uses, and then they stop. So then when you want to wear them, they, some, some of them take 10 minutes to actually set. Uh, so that's really annoying. I know I can get a watch winding box, however, they're loud, they keep me up at night, and they're so expensive to get a high quality one. So I'm going to hold off on that. I try to wear each one at least every 10 days or so, and that always doesn't work. It doesn't always work. Um, so that's the collection. If anybody wanted to know, there you go. Now I'm going to spend some time editing this video, which is about the iPad 3, and uh, dinner should be coming back shortly. So I'll get this editing done and get that uploaded tonight. Oh God! Kenan got his favorite station on again. Z1079 Cleveland's number one station for hip hop and R&B and the Ah uh, yeah, home of the niggas. All right, guys, it's a joke. All right, I'm not racist. Okay, that's culture today. So don't get up and hard in the ass about it. Ow, oh, yes. Oh, the beer though, you stick fifty. Six fifty. If something bad happens, then we won't put it in. <laughs> All right, with the car here. All right, let's let's relocate. Take two. He <laughs> just looked. I did, still didn't break. <laughs> <laughs> what did you break? It broke the it broke my old boss bottle. <laughs> Wait, no, don't don't throw near the car. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the bottle go? Alright. <laughs> go go ahead. I'll pay you money, I still didn't do anything. <laughs> this top came out. Right? Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Where did it go? <laughs> I don't know, it's really far. But it's over did here. you hear it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, we heard something. Ready? <laughs> Ready. <laughs> did it break? No, oh, I heard it land. <laughs> you still haven't broken it. What the? <laughs> Why is it be so hard to break? I see it right there, Kevin. Okay. Another bottle. <laughs> and it comes right out. <laughs> and it's perfectly fine. Let's try it one more time. Jesus. That is some strong ass glass there. No, not, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 let him go. It's not gonna it's not gonna come out. Let it go. Wait, okay, Taylor, give it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs>